All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back for another FFT AI battle. So on top, uh, we have a Murace team once again from a couple of videos ago. And then on bottom, we have Castia's team with the mine. So we'll introduce the units as always. We have Jade the Thief, Ruby the Red Dragon, Zircon the Geomancer, and Amethyst the Wizard. And now for Castia, we got Copycat the Mime, Sammy the Samurai, Mike the Monk, and Pre the Priest. I'm not sure who to really give this to. Uh, I didn't look at every bit of synergy between these two teams, but uh, there is some good and worse compats floating around. Specifically, this wizard right here, Ares, has worse compat with this monk, the samurai. So whenever the samurai inflicts damage onto this uh, wizard, it's going to be for a minimal amount. Uh, I don't know the numbers offhand, but it's going to be halved, basically. Uh, another thing I noticed, too, is that uh, Cassie's team has no... Um, Nobody on their team has a white robe, so the damage is not going to be halved from this red dragon when he, if he uses his uh, breath attacks. Uh, another uh, another thing of good compat I noticed is that this Geomancer has good compat with the Mime and the Monk, uh, Aquarius and Leo, or Libra, I'm sorry. So, I'm really not sure how to give this to. I just feel like overall, unless Mimes um, are positioned well by the AI. I feel like the red dragon is going to be more of a more of an asset than a mime is. Um, but it really just depends, I think, more on luck than anything whether you do well with a mime or not. So, um, let's go to first small map. Hmm. Let's go to Aragway Woods. Let's do that. Um, now, one thing I did kind of think about when I was selecting those maps just then is uh, because there is a samurai with a mime, the mime will be able to mimic things like Kiyomori or he'll be able to mimic Murasame for uh, AoE heals, basically. So being able to mimic Kiyomori and get auto protect, auto shell onto yourself and then potentially other people that are surrounding the mime, that's very nice. Yep. Yeah, 112. So if you take half that damage, that samurai is only going to do 56 damage to the uh, uh, the wizard. Ooh, nice. Nice double use of... Uh... Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize it, but... Um, I think... If I recall, I didn't really think about it until now because they both used Dirt Slash, but I think technically this team is illegal. I don't remember if I caught on to this a long time ago or not. And the reason why I say it is because Monk has innate martial arts and the Mime also has innate martial arts. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to let this one team slide. Uh, it's one of those little subtleties I kind of forgot about. So, all right, nice explosion heal. But the Red Dragon has still taken a bit of damage. Uh, any charms? Yep, those are the, I guess that's best compat. He does immediately get broken out of it. Um, so a turn was wasted onto that mine, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. Now, because the Samurai has defense up, the Thunder Bracelet is being prioritized for a higher damage output. And then the other thing about that too, is that the because it's magical damage, not physical, it bypasses uh, defense up. <clears throat> We're probably going to see like a three-man drop. Yeah. A slow onto the Geomancer too. Okay. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Looks like it's targeting on the Samurai. I don't think it's targeting the Monk, too. It could be wrong. Are we going to see another charm? 80%? No, it, it misses this time at 18%. Okay. Kill them for the exact amount of damage necessary. So, uh, that uh, Mimic Earth Slash from before uh, helped out a lot, actually. And I feel like... Um... Oh! Very nice heal. A uh, bit of damage split for a good amount, 118, but the question... Okay, I thought the Monk was going to die, and I think the Monk would have been a better priority. But apparently that is not the case. Ooh, nice use of Demi-2 right there, good positioning. Took at least half of her life. Earth Slash? Nope, MP Switch saved her life. Alright. And the vertical high tolerance prevent another friendly fire from the Mime hitting the Monk. Very nice. We should need to see another charm. 82%, yeah. With those massively good odds. Uh, I'm not sure what cure that. I think that's a cure too. Bam, damn. A lot of demis going around. A dragon's back to full, which is nice. Um, priest going down? I think she's got auto potion though. No, it did not trigger this time. 
Pretty good damage, 140, not bad, but she should be dead now. Oh, she had Blade Grasp. Okay. Okay, well, Blade Grasp is, does not counter breath attacks like that. Alright, well, yeah, now this is, um... We're only down to, uh... One Reviver, and that's this monk. And he just lost, you know, about a third of his life part. Um... She guarded? I don't know why she guarded that. Does she have high magical evasion? That's the only explanation I can think of. Let me take a look at a curiosity. Yeah, I guess it's just luck. I thought she... Well, she does have a diamond shield and a Dracula mantle, so... 49% magical evasion? Pretty... I don't know, 43% between the accessory and that. Pretty good. Yeah, so unfortunately, I think what happened was the... The samurai... Um, got too far away from her team, and then nobody was able to revive her, and then it just this charm kind of fucked it up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, to, to kind of prevent these charms, uh, it's not final, of course, but I'm seriously, uh, I'm seriously thinking about, um, somebody suggested, I can't remember who, it was in, uh, one of the game facts threads from earlier, but... I'm thinking about making it so that all, um, everybody's zodiac uh, sign is the exact same. So there's, there's neutral compat. So, you know, everybody could have Leo, everybody could have Serpentarius, etc. Because then the, the odds will be normalized. I mean, it takes away the RNG factor, but when you have, I, I think the 80% charms are a big part of reasons why rounds like this go the way they do. Um, and there really isn't a lot of charm protection. I think there's just, uh, the Enkai armlet. Right, and the Enkai armor like, gives you immunity to confusion and charm. And the thing is, like for that accessory in particular, what does it matter if um, you know? What does it matter if you have protections from those statuses if the enemy team you're fighting in particular doesn't cast either one of them? So it just becomes like a worthless accessory slot. And I think I might actually do that for the tournament again. It's not t it's not finalized, but I think that's the a step in the right direction. Because, yeah, just ridiculously high odds like this. Um, I mean, it also, it also can go the other way, too, right? With uh, bad and worse compat. It's just... I don't know. It just it just seems like it's... It just swings factors in way too much, one way or the other. Uh, like, imagine you had... Just from a couple days ago, the match I uploaded with uh, Miri and Melissa. I'm not sure what the compatibilities were, but a defense up night with auto potion. And, like, for... 10 to 15 minutes at like 600 frames per second. I couldn't kill him. I don't remember if there's a combination of good or bad compat, but those kind of scenarios can occur. And it's just, it gets insane. Uh, just having to deal with it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely on my radar for sure. Because if you think about it this way too, then by having everybody with neutral compat, it's going to encourage people to, um, any slow dances. Uh, just on the thief, which doesn't matter too much. Um, yeah, finishing my train of thought. I think you would uh, actually in encourage people then to build high faith on their units. Like if they want to be affected by raise twos or raise spells, any magic in general, um, right? They're gonna have to have a higher faith, you know, higher faith, as opposed to something like fifty or forty points, due to the fact that they had good or best compat with their uh, caster, and so that makes you more susceptible to magic elsewhere on the enemy team too. Uh, just initially, it seems like a healthier choice, so... Yeah, pardon me for not paying too much attention, it's just we had to wait for these guys to actually get in the action right now, and it looks like as if Castia is a little bit on the back foot once again, because this, uh... The mine got way too far away from her team, and, um... There's gonna be no more dances at the moment, because the samurai is, uh, gone now, and that Cure 4 is completely worthless. Um, although the monk does have haste, um... I just feel like, yeah, the priest, I don't think he's going to be able to charge up a spell quick enough. Uh, unless she dies here. She does. Yeah, so she's just been wasting turns using cure and hasn't done anything with it. Or hasn't been able to do anything, I should say. Yeah, so another 80% charm. Yeah, it's definitely going to hit the monk. And, oh my god. <laughs> I think she's hit all all four of the Mimic Durvons. I think she went for the mine one time and it missed. Yeah, 112 slow. She had don't move for the pitfall from earlier, but yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, the red dragon can kind of take it. Well, actually, you know what? She has Kiyomori applied right off her shell, so 
It's funny you can charm somebody while they're asleep. It's like you're invading their dreams or something. And again, the damage is a little bit lower, 140. That's a worse compat fire three. Yeah, again, it's a little bit lower because of the shell proc. Yeah, auto potion. So this is uh this should be going to mirror, no problem. Uh, eventually those auto potions will not trigger and uh they can take them out. And it's kind of dumb for them to go for a bag wag like that because now there is a chance that the mine will be revived here. I'm not certain about it though. Because like a raise or raise two will bring her back to life. We don't I don't know if the CTs are offhand. Raise one, yeah, see. Uh, that's just dumb AI going for bag smacks. Honestly, they should just be Focusing elsewhere on other units. Another Kiyomori, all right. Only 78 damage. By the way, this is an example of what I was talking about with compats from before, not necessarily just with charm, but like, again, if, if there is neutral compat, that would do 156 damage, but because of worse compat, it's 50% less. That's how big um, combat, you know, compats can swing into favor. And in another example, so this 112 damage, I believe is base, Right? If you had best compat with someone, 112 times 1.5, that's going to be 178 damage. And that's 178 damage from like a kind of a tanky samurai, too. So, yeah, looking at that, I, I, it's, I don't know. It's just, uh, I mean, the damage numbers are a little bit easier to calculate as opposed to looking at compats and just, you know, having things become one shot territory. Or, you know, things just go completely lopsided because of, like, charms or some stupid shit. <clears throat> so everybody may have Shell and Kiyomori, but it doesn't seem like, uh... With that monk asleep, it doesn't seem like, uh... It, it just doesn't seem like Castia has uh, enough offense really going for him. Like, unless there's, like... Um, unless this mime is able to get, unless the samurai gets turned in and gets like a double draw, that's the only way I could see it happening. And we might see more Mimic Derevons, right? It does not hit the samurai this time, which is a little unfortunate because had it hit, um, that's actually, I don't know if that's two or three panels away. The reason why I'm bringing that up, ah, oh, damn. That samurai didn't get a turn off because she could have got like a double draw right there. Yeah. An auto potion. Yep. Just heals all that shit back up. <clears throat> Yeah, so auto potion. Unfortunately, no mind in the mimic it, but we'll see how this works. I'm just curious. Uh, if I were the thief, I'd just go for a charm on that uh, monk. You know, best can pat, and it'll kind of fuck up their own team. A mid charge? Nope. It looks like a redirect of the spell, though. I'm guessing that's like a fire three or fire four. It's one of the two. It's probably a fire three. It should be, because that should be enough damage to kill off that mime. Um, Red Dragon taken down, though. That beast has been slain. Nice. Oh, damn. A little unfortunate redirect. Oh. Well, uh, unfortunately, the charms haven't really gone off at all. And Ooh, nice use of Chakra. They're storing the majority of that, uh, or a good chunk. Uh, they're giving each other they're giving each other their spirits uh, that race too kind of cute um, yeah I, I just um, I think really kind of what uh, this should go to a tiebreaker now given the circumstances yeah the wizard, wizard is completely out of MA she doesn't have any MA restoration only the geomancer has um, their item so he'd have to throw like a high ether at her but if he's going to be spending turns resurrecting people it's not really going to matter at all yeah, so this should be going into Cassia's favor. Yeah, I think the win condition uh, for Mire in this round, uh, or at least against this team from Cassia, is just to get the charm on the monk, and then the monk wrecks havoc on his own team. And unfortunately, there was that stupid bagwhack under the priest earlier, uh, and it revived. Um, I think it revived the mime, you know, from three four minutes ago. When like both the the priest and the monk were asleep, she did like bagwhack for twenty six damage, and then the priest subsequently revived the mime, and allowed for this momentum shift. Yeah, I think that was just kind of dumb. So, and I didn't really think about it now, but now that the slow dances are going off, um, this should be going to Cassia. 
Yeah, it should be going to him because uh, the speed decreases are going to add up over time. So it has been long. It has been drawn out. Um, yeah, I think uh, a big smack onto the priest, allowing the mind to get revived earlier, is what kind of caused this uh, loss for Miri in this one and Casty the victory. One twelve, not too bad. The mine was a little bit too far away, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Yep. So now that, that should be just another draw. Just want to take a look. Eight speed. Oh my god, that's a three speed wizard. <laughs> She's never gonna get turns in. Oh my god. And that's not even gonna matter. A simple staff whack should just finish her off. Or three man haste. Ah, uh, that's two out of three though. That's fine, but. Okay, she just didn't go for a draw to kill two people. That's pretty stupid. Yeah, the samurai could have used a draw, and then the, then the mime would have mimicked it and hit the wizard. But they just opted not to do that. While the beast is permanently out of the picture, I don't think it matters. These slow dances are extremely crippling. That is now a six-speed uh, geomancer. I'm not sure what the speed of that unit is. But I don't think it's going to matter. <clears throat> yep, another... Oh, she's got Blade Grass. That's why she had that 60% chance of getting hit. Bit of a redirect, but it doesn't matter. It's up to a 6 speed Geomancer against a team with haste to try to come back in this. And it's not going to happen. He's going to delay shit with, like, Auto Potion and reviving people, but... Eventually the Mime and the Samurai are going to get in his face, and they're going to get, like, double draws. I don't remember if, um... I don't remember if, like, uh, how do I say it? I don't remember if, um, Auto Potion will trigger twice, like, so here. Yeah, I don't remember, like, if Auto Potion would trigger after the Heaven's Clot, and then the Mimic applies and it triggers again. I wasn't really paying attention to that detail, but yeah. Alright, with that said, let's go to a tiebreaker then. Goddamn. Uh, quite a bit of, a uh, time between these two teams. Uh, just a little bit of a struggle for them to wrap it up. Let's go to Thieves Fort. Uh, Thieves Fort, what am I trying to think? Oh, this is the one where we fight Maluda the first time. Okay. Yeah, so... I don't feel like the water's gonna make too much of an impact. I mean, right at the center where that monk, the priest, the samurai are, those couple of panels of water in front of them, but... It's not, it's not gonna really make a difference for the red dragon at all. The only time it's gonna matter is if they run into the water. Um, like if the units run away into the water itself. Then the red dragon can't get anything. Unless he's got his, uh, breath attack. Pretty good damage, and ooh, wow, that's worse compat right there, 40 damage. Um, so three turns I've been invested into her, but she did lose like half her life. Gonna get it all healed up, I guess, which is kinda nice. Um, wow, so two, uh, two mimics in a row, not bad. Didn't put a sleep, uh, did stop the slow dance, which is very nice. Crit shot makes it so that it's a little bit harder for her to get to him. Um, yeah, that's half of the priest's life right there. It should, should be a simple chakra. Heals up, uh, you know, two-thirds of that damage dealt. She had... Oh, it was like 165 for damage. Ooh, nice. That should be a... Uh, I think that's a fire four right there. I'm willing to bet that the monk is going to get turned out before the fire four resolves. Let's see, though. No petrifies, okay. Um, don't do that, don't do that, please. <laughs> God, this is why I think Mirei's team went last last uh, last round. Good damage, but um, half the damage split and then healed up everywhere else. Oof. Nice heal on the dragon. Ooh, the monk going down. Does he get a raise too, though? That's the question. 75%. Now, I want to take a look at something I'm curious. We're going to see a Mimic draw right here. Kill this thief. Yeah, I want to take a look at something real quick. Um, so, that's, that's Gem no, this is Gemini, right? Yeah, Libra, Aquarius. I just want to look at this. Yeah, so, despite the fact that both of these units have good compat, um, the fact that this... Monk has 50 faith is the reason why it's only 75% despite it being good compat. So for compare, I, I, I don't I don't know the math offhand, but if I had to take a guess, like units with neutral compat, I bet with, with 70 faith, 
would have that same 75% chance around that same, like, and, and we're between like 85 to 75%. Very nice use of a uh, demon fire right there, healing up someone and damaging them simultaneously. Very nice. Mid charge. She is dead. Um, race two does trigger. She gonna, no, she shouldn't be dead here. No, nope, because the mime's down. She should be dead now. Yep. Okay, so it's uh, it's a three v three at the moment. Um, now it's three v two. Lost a little half, a little more than half his life, but damage comes in the fruition there. This raise two will be for nothing if she doesn't get a turn in. She's got to go for the charm. It's the smartest play, especially if the monk gets a turn in, which he does. Um, and that's a way, that's your way to counter uh, tanky samurais, or tanky units in general. Status break, you know, status or breaks. And uh, she's got one turn left. So, I don't see the monk coming back from this at all. He might be able to put down the red dragon, but I don't think it's going to matter. Uh, the question is, is if that fire four is going to go off before he gets a turn, and he pr it probably will. Oh, okay, nice, nice. I found that very strange why he went for a high potion, but the reason why he, the Geomancer did that is because the Fire 4 was going to max out his HP, so they just threw him on, they just threw out the amount of, they threw out the minimum amount, amount of HP necessary to be able to heal him up to full, basically. And that's something cool to know about the AI and that they can um, identify that. Say, oh, well, he, he only needs this much HP heal on top of this heal to max out his HP. It's kind of cool that they can recognize that, so... All right, well, with that said, congratulations, BRA. You took this best of three. Um, Castia, you brought it to a tiebreaker. And uh, yeah, don't feel too bad about it. Um, fortunately, that's just compats for you. So yeah, with that said, uh, I will see you guys for the next video and uh, stream. Yeah, if I ever you know get around to that. So yeah, uh, take care until then.